Okay. What's up, everybody? Rev Sauce Knight. Now, I know I have a picture of Monet with an AEW backdrop. Yes, I know. I'm going to hear from some of you. Oh, my God. You're already confirming her for AEW. No, I'm not. I just did that on purpose. Just I thought it would be funny to have in my video because I know some of you are going to get triggered real quick. You know, some of you get triggered. You got triggered over the uh, wrestling dirt sheets. Still reporting the same thing. Oh, she's not going to WWE. I'm going to dox you and, and I'm going to find out your information and death threat you. You know, that's what wrestling fans have become over the weekend. Literally ignorant. That's what it's become and unprofessional. Like, man, you guys are you guys are so wild over this shit. Like, we report it and you guys are like, oh my God, losing your mind. She's not going to WWE. How dare you say she's better than Charlotte Flair? How dare you? I can't have my opinion, but you can have your opinion. And what's up with all you wrestling fans acting erratic over this? You should be happy either way. You should be a fan of hers nonetheless. No joke. Seriously. Like, who gives a shit what company she goes to? Who cares where she debuts? For re-debuts for WWE? Debuts for TNA at Hard to Kill? Or shows up at Homecoming or in the next two weeks in AEW? Who gives a shit? You guys are so paranoid over this shit. It's like, I'm just happy to see her in a ring. I'm happy to see her on national television. I'm happy to see her winning championships again. And yes, I do think she's better than Charlotte Flair. But that's my opinion. My opinion's my opinion. And I've had a lot of you tell me Charlotte Flair is better. But nobody tells me why. I, I even spit out facts saying that, hey, sh you know, Charlotte Flair gets handed title after title after title. She's like a 14-time champion without blinking. Probably going to be a 30-time champion by it's all said and done. But nobody could tell me why she's so great. Why she's so great. I wish her all well and health and everything. I want her back in the ring. I like Charlotte Flair too. But she's not my number one women's wrestler right now. I, I think that goes to Diana Peraza. That goes to uh, Monet, Willow Nightingale. I would say Tony Storm. There's many others that I like, but that's just my opinion. Look, not everybody has to agree with my opinion. Not everybody has to see wrestling the way I see it. I prefer AEW more than WWE, but that's just me. And TNA, but that's just me. Like I like the wrestling style, same with New Japan, but that's my opinion. Again, I can't say that enough on my channel. My opinion is my opinion. You don't have to agree with everything. But if she goes back to WWE, I'm not going to cry over it. I'm not going to be mad over it. I'm going to buy her shirt, her gear. I'm a fan. I'll mark out if she wins a championship or tag team championships with Bailey or whoever. Maybe with Trinity all over again. I don't know. But I'll be happy nonetheless. Like, I don't favor companies. I don't favor who it does better. Do I tend to go more AEW? Sure. But I watch every wrestling product out there. As I try to. Or I try to catch it later on down the road on, you know, Daily Motion or wherever I can get it. If I can't get it somewhere. Or if it's too expensive, I'll go look. I'll, I'll tape trade or I'll video trade with somebody. But at the end of the day, Monet, like from all reports, it says since the initial... An AEW source reached out to PWI and many other sources and said they're absolutely in the hunt. They've been in absolutely in contract negotiations with Monet as of this week and last week. And she also has a foot in the door with Triple H. Triple H and her have been texting back and forth. Have you not seen her Twitter posts and things like that? She's also been playing you guys too on Instagram, talking to AEW wrestlers in the comment sections. Come on now. She's either going to be in AEW, which I'll be happy either way, or WWE. Or maybe we get a wrench thrown into it. She shows up at Hard to Kill. Maybe that's that marquee signing. But at the same time, if she signs with TNA, she has a foot back in the door to be in WWE. Again, because Endeavor has a streaming rights deal with uh, TNA. So at the end of the day, I don't really care where she goes. I just want her to be happy. And if for some of you that think your opinion matters or cares, obviously it's not caring because she's been 
fucking around in all these social media communities, getting you guys to dance like little puppets. <laughs> Monet is a great troll. Let me tell you, she's playing you guys big time. And to me, I just don't care. I want her to get the money. I want her to get the bag. I don't care either way. You shouldn't care either way either. You should be a fan. You should enjoy wherever she goes. And that's that. Same with Diana Peraza. I didn't care if she went to WWE and became the virtuoso over there. I didn't care if she went to back to TNA and resigned or MLW or whatever. I didn't care. I'm happy to just see her continue her, her career. She's in her prime. She's going to win championships with AEW, marquee, play, uh, marquee pay-per-views, and do the things that they need to do. Monet, same thing. It's the same wherever Mandy Rose is going to go. Or, you know, again, Lacey Evans, same thing. Like, I don't care. There's more bidding wars happening this year, too. You got to think, there's going to be a bidding war for um, uh, for Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. You know AEW is not going to, they're going to try to reach out when their contracts expire. But I most likely, they're probably going to renew. Sheamus's contract's coming up. Um, Drew's contract's coming up. If he doesn't have time tacked on for injury time uh, from WWE, uh, we don't know. And the thing this year is wrestlers are going to make it interesting this year. We're going to see, does money matter? Does taking less money with somebody just to stay and be a lifer? It, it's going to come down. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing um, wrestling fans fighting over these two companies, man. It's disgusting. It's unprofessional. But anyway, you guys get my point. My point is there's going to be a lot of wrestling talent, a lot of things happening this year. And wherever Monet goes is wherever Mercedes wants to go. Vernaldo, at the end of the day, I'm happy with. You should be doing the same. Don't go into these comment sections and dirt sheets and threaten them because they're just doing their job. I think that's gross. It's unprofessional as us and wrestling fans. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you in the streams. Be kind to one another. Respect each other's opinion. Not all of us has to like difference in opinions and stuff, you know, when it comes to the IWC, YWC, but you should respect each other and not tear each other apart over what company, like you think these companies care? They don't care. They care about making money and lining their pockets and driving their Porsches and their Lamborghinis and things like that. They don't care about us. They care about us probably about 10%. They don't really care about anything else. They care about putting butts in the seats and making money and continue making profit. That's the, If that was the case, a lot of these other wrestlers that people have cried about would have still been with the company already. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.